Porsche did not take shortcuts with the Cayenne Electric. Before a single customer sees a delivery truck, camouflage prototypes are grinding through sand, heat, and dust in some of the toughest places on earth. Think Death Valley in the United States. Think the Gulf States. Think long days where the air sits at 50 degrees Celsius and the ground radiates even more. It is the kind of heat that punishes batteries, power electronics, and brakes. That is exactly why Porsche goes there. The team's goal is simple. Make the Cayenne electric feel like a Porsche everywhere, even where most electric sport utility vehicles never dare to go. On soft dunes, engineers focus on traction and stability calibration so that the front and rear motors know how to send power without digging themselves in. The control software is tuned for the rolling resistance of sand, the quick transitions on rippled surfaces, and the need for immediate torque without lighting up the tires. It is a balancing act. Enough bite to climb, enough finesse to float. Heat is the other villain. The battery, inverters, and drive units all create heat when you drive hard at low speed which is exactly what sand work demands. Porsche stresses the thermal circuits by running long climbs and repeated loops that keep coolant and refrigerant systems at maximum effort. The heating, ventilation, and air conditioning system has to cool the cabin quickly in the worst heat while also supporting battery conditioning for performance and charging. If you have ever fast charged in summer, you know how much that matters. Engineers test exactly that. Arrive hot, plug in, and verify that charge power is stable and safe. Then there is dust. Fine sand finds its way everywhere. Seals, filters, and breathers are checked after each punishment drive. Cooling pack performance is monitored for clogging. The result should be boring in the best way. The Cayenne Electric keeps pulling, keeps cooling, keeps quiet. Inside, the cabin must remain calm and cold because luxury does not get a day off just because the thermometer is angry. Porsche also leans on a digital twin approach to get here faster. Virtual prototypes help them explore edge cases and cut the number of early physical cars by roughly 120, while trimming development time by about 20%. But the desert still has the final word. That is why the last miles are always real, on real dunes with real heat soaking into every component. When the calibration team signs off, they know exactly what the vehicle will do when a customer points it toward an empty horizon and keeps their foot in it. If this kind of obsessive testing speaks to you, do not forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you catch every new video the moment it drops.